When it comes to dietary choices, the keto diet and the vegan diet often stand out as two distinct approaches with devoted followers. In this video, we'll break down their macronutrient profiles and weigh the pros and cons of each. All that, coming right up. Let's start with the macronutrient profile of the keto diet. The hallmark of the keto diet is its emphasis on fats, typically comprising around 70 to 80% of total daily calories consumed. Sources of healthy fats include avocados, nuts, seeds, and oils. Protein intake is moderate, making up about 20 to 25% of total daily calories. High quality satiating protein sources like meat, fish, eggs, and dairy are commonly consumed. Carbohydrates are ultra low, usually less than 50 grams per day, or about 5 to 10% of total daily calories. This forces the body into a state of ketosis, in which it burns ketones from fat for energy instead of carbohydrates. Now, let's highlight some of the main pros and cons of the keto diet. Starting with the pros we have. 1. Weight loss. Many individuals experience rapid weight loss on the keto diet due to its high fat, low carb nature, which helps control hunger and stabilize blood sugar levels. 2. Improved metabolic health. Research suggests that the keto diet may improve insulin sensitivity, lower blood sugar levels, and reduce risk factors for heart disease. 3. Highly satiating. Keto's high fat, nutrient dense foods can make you feel full and satisfied, curbing those snack attacks thereby making weight loss sustainable. Next, let's examine some typical cons of the keto diet. 1. Irresistible carb cravings. If you're a carb lover, saying goodbye to sweets, bread, fries, chips, and pasta might be a tough breakup. 2. Defies traditional wisdom. It can be difficult to get buy-in from your family members and your healthcare professionals who follow traditional dietary and nutritional guidelines. 3. Potential side effects. A small minority of people may experience unpleasant side effects initially, such as fatigue, headaches, and constipation, usually referred to as the keto flu. But this is only temporary as the metabolism switches from burning sugar to burning fat as its primary fuel. In most cases, proper hydration and electrolyte supplementation will resolve these symptoms. Now let's walk through the vegan diet starting with its general macronutrient profile. The macronutrient profile of the vegan diet is more variable than the keto diet. Carbohydrates comprise anywhere from 45 to 65 percent of total calories consumed. Proteins make up 10 to 35 percent, while fats represent 20 to 35 percent of total calories eaten. The vegan diet tends to be significantly lower in fat, with a focus on carb-rich plant-based sources such as fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Protein intake is moderate and obtained primarily from plant sources like beans, lentils, tofu, and tempeh. Next, let's examine the pros and cons of the vegan diet, starting with the pros. 1. Heart health. Research suggests that a well-planned vegan diet can lower cholesterol levels, reduce the risk of heart disease, and improve overall cardiovascular health. 2. Weight management. Many individuals find it easier to maintain a healthy weight on a vegan diet due to its emphasis on whole, fiber-rich foods that are naturally lower in calories. Environmental sustainability. Plant-based diets have a lower environmental impact, requiring fewer resources like land, water, and energy compared to animal agriculture. That brings us to some common cons associated with the vegan diet. 1. Nutrient deficiencies. While a vegan diet can be nutritionally adequate with careful planning, it may require supplementation or attention to specific nutrients like vitamin B12, iron, calcium, and omega-3 fatty acids. 2. Social challenges. Eating out or attending social gatherings may present challenges for vegans, as many traditional dishes and restaurants may not offer suitable options. 3. Potential for highly processed foods. Some vegan alternatives to animal products, such as mock meats and dairy substitutes, can be highly processed and less nutritious than whole food options. 
So, in summary, both the keto diet and the vegan diet offer unique approaches to nutrition with their own set of benefits and considerations. The key is to choose the dietary approach that aligns best with your individual health goals, lifestyle preferences, and ethical beliefs, while ensuring that you meet your nutritional needs through a balanced and diverse diet. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more similar content from this channel in the future, please take a few seconds to like and subscribe. If you have specific suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section below. And to avoid missing out on future releases, please remember to click the notifications bell. Have a great day.